Hello, I'm Molly de Blasi. I am a Penn Foster Vet Tech student and I am making a series of videos about Penn Foster and their program and their different classes. I think it's really helpful um, because I put off maybe two years before I actually enrolled in Penn Foster because I just felt like there wasn't enough information and I was really, I didn't want to go waste my time or my money. So I wanted to put this information out there so that people are able to watch it and know what to expect if they haven't enrolled, if they have enrolled, um, you know, learn from my mistakes and hopefully you can do better than me. Um, I do carry a, so far I'm carrying a 4.0, which I'm really happy about. Um, but definitely I want to make sure that everybody can learn from each other's mistakes and um, I definitely made some in biology being that it's the first real proctor exam you take. Um, that's definitely to be expected, but I wanted to help anybody that can, I can. So um, for the proctor, I did a previous video about bio, bio. Um, definitely check that out because that gives you an idea of the um, lesson exams and stuff like that themselves and how to take those to set yourself up um, you know for best success regardless of kind of how you do on the proctor you always want to do really well on the proctor it is worth 33 percent of your grade um, but you want to make sure you're set up well in the other 66 percent of your grade as well so i do have another video on that um, so in the proctor webinar um, there is a study guide sort of that gives i think it's like two pages and it gives you a list of the questions that could be asked on the um, exam there, I don't, they probably won't come up word for word, but it'll give you a good idea of the kind of question that might be asked on the exam. So take that study guide, print it out, and use that study guide to build how you're gonna structure your studying. So what I would do with the textbook, because biology is, I think it's Penn Foster's only open book exam for um, vet tech. So um, proctor exam, the only open book proctor exam, your lesson exams are always open book. Um, with that being said, definitely use your tools as best that you can. So if you take your biology textbook and you want to take your study guide that you got from the Proctor webinar, and what I did was made labels, like you know the little sticky labels that you put um, in like your notes and stuff in your binders? So take those sticky labels, write whatever topic or whatever question, um, the to whatever topic the question is on from your study guide, and write it on you know write it down on the tab take the tab and put it in your textbook so my i don't can't find my bio book because we moved and i don't know where i put it but so my biology book had um these little tabs and they went all the way across the top and all the way down the side so that way when i was taking the proctor if i had a question i was like oh shoot i kind of know this but i don't fully remember it i could look find the tab flip to that page make sure i got the answer down and then move on. So definitely use your tools that they're allowing you to use. If it's open book, use your book. Label it as best you can so that you can find whatever you need when you need it and you want it to be fast because you are going to be timed. So the next thing I would do when you start the exam, I would go through all of the questions. Your first, I think, few questions, I don't remember exactly how many, they're worth the majority of your, um, they're worth the majority of your test. They'll explain that in the Proctor webinar. Um, but definitely I would go put, just put an answer down in all of your questions from this beginning to the end. Just make sure you get something in there. You do get partial credit, um, even if you don't get the question completely right. So just get something on the, the question because I ran out of time at the end and I didn't get all my questions answered and it was okay because I was, you know, I already had done so well in the prior lesson exams and stuff, but you really, everybody wants to do well, right? So because it's worth 33% of your grade, it really could bring you, it could make the difference between an A and a B or a C. So go through, just put an answer down really quick. Don't think too much about it. Just, you know, first thing you think of, put it down. Then go back to the beginning, take some time on those first set of questions that are worth a lot. You want those to be right because they're worth a lot. And then go through an answer in more and more depth and more detail, um, all the other questions. So the other thing, the other mistake I made was I did not look at a clock before or when I started. So the there is a clock built in in the remote webinar. Um, this wouldn't be a problem if you were doing an in-person proctor. But if you're doing it remotely, there is a clock that's built in. The problem with that clock is it sometimes glitches and it won't show you how many minutes you have left. So I didn't look at the clock when I started. I had no idea how many minutes. I didn't know if I had two minutes left or 30 minutes left. I just, I had no idea. So definitely 
look at a clock on your wall or um, you're not allowed to have a smartwatch, but you can have like a regular watch. Um, or in the last proctor that I did, I did an AMP proctor. I just looked at the clock on my computer. So I'm like, okay, I started at 2.30, I have until 3.30. That way, if the built-in clock fails, you're okay. You're not gonna be clueless as to where you are. So I hope that this helps you guys. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'm also going to make a video on the AMP1 and I'm currently in AMP2. So when I finish that, I will update you guys on that one. Thank you.